It'd be wrong to leave without saying goodbye. I need answers, and I need them now. Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powdered Milk here, and welcome to One Night Stand. And also, guys, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Today is a little Valentine's Day special, and I thought about I was trying to think of a game for Valentine's Day that's love themed and I thought why not love night one night stand a lot of people I don't have the luxury of what a one night stand is knowing what a one night stand feels like or curse I guess I don't know what if it's a good or bad thing but a lot of people get one night stands and I've never experienced one so I thought, why not? Since a lot of people end up on one night stands on Valentine's Day because no one wants to be alone on Valentine's Day. And I am doing this video because I think some people don't deserve to be alone on that day. And of all honesty, I really hope anybody who's watching this has someone to be with on Valentine's Day. And if you don't, I'm ha happy that you're watching this so I can see if I can make you laugh or anything. I just want to, because I've been alone a lot on Valentine's Day, and technically I am alone now, but not alone. But I'm happy for that. Uh, I'm happy that you guys are here to watch this video and everything. Well, I got my old guys in, in, in a donor t-shirt on, so, um, and we're going to play One Night Stand, so let's start the game. I believe this is a uh, Choice Matters game, so... Ugh. My head. My stomach. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Drink. Lots of drinks. Drink happened. <laughs> uh, what's that noise? Flash! My phone. Where's my phone? Got it. Shh. Mate! What the hell happened to you last night? I'm gonna assume this guy's Irish. So, Gary. What does he want? Oh yeah, that's right. I was out with Gary last night. He doesn't sound too happy with me, though. Should I respond? E uh, yes. I have no idea, but I've woken up in a banging hangover. You? Crap, my phone is about to die. I better plug it in before a battery runs out. Where's my phone charger? That's not it either. My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait, this isn't my bedside table. This is even my room. Where am I? My clothes. They're... They're... My clothes, they're all over the floor. <laughs> am I... I'm completely naked. Um. Whoa! Who is she? Someone got lucky. Why am I in her bed? Did did we hook up? This must be her room. I hope this is her room. But who is she? Mm -hmm. Dude, you bailed on me. I gave up a date to go a drink with you, and you on her off after another round. What the hell? Gary ditched his date. And I dished him? Shit. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? I can't remember. Hmm. If Gary knew about the situation I was in, he might be able to laugh, um, laugh it off and give me some information at least. Should I tell Gary about this girl? Yes. Mate, I'm really sorry about last night, but I've woken up, up in some girl's bed. Hopefully Gary can shed some light on this situation. Mm-hmm. Ha! Bullshit, you're crap pulling me. You're going to need a better excuse than that. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence, Gary. Shit. I can't remember anything that happened last night. It's such a blur. Leaving Gary seems to ring the bell. Oh, but I don't even know who this girl is lying next to me is. Where the heck am I? This is going to be so awkward when she wakes up. Ugh, this hangover is not helping. 
I should uh, take a sneaky picture. We definitely shut him up. Don't take the photo. That's just kind of wrong. I'm not going to stoop to that. Gary can think whatever the hell he wants. Ah, oh, shit, my phone died anyway. I'm still no closer to finding out what happened last night. What should I do? Get out of here. To sleep. Get out of here and go back to sleep. I think it'd be wrong to leave without saying goodbye. I need answers and I need them now. Oh, what the? Did she just throw the covers over me? She's gone. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. Is this in his head? I wonder if she wants me to leave. Pile of magazines. There's some music and gaming ma mags here. Some of these art articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't ha have time to read them now. Found my jeans. They look a bit dirty though. Where did the steam come from? Meh. They're probably still good for another day or two. I really need to find my boxers before I put them on. Hang on, there's something in my pocket. Sandbar. Buy five cocktails and get the sixth free. Sandbar, huh? I know this place. They do good co cocktails. Maybe that's where we met. Judging from this, I ordered a fair share of cocktails. This card is fully stamped. Wow, I drank five cocktails? No wonder I didn't end up crashing in. <laughs> I don't know where my boxers are. Hmm, an introduction to English literature. English literature in context. The rest of these books are texts about the same subject. I guess she's studying English literature for a college or a university. There's also some DVDs. Oh, hey. Uh, what should I say? Hey. Oh, I'm sorry for uh, dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. Yeah, it's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the blanket of covers. Sorry, I woke up uh, feeling pretty dodgy and I had to dash to the bathroom. Well then, I see. Is everything okay? Um, I don't want to go into it. Oh, right. You see, I have your je- I see you have your jeans there. Oh yeah, I thought I'd pick them up. I see. Have you been awake long? Not really. I was woken up by the my phone buzzing. Ah, I wonder what that was. I woke up. It woke me up too. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Uh, this is uncomfortable. Think of something to talk about. Study books. I see you got a lot of books on English literature. Yep, I study English literature at the university. Those are just some of my textbooks. I see. Are you enjoying your course? Yes, it's okay, I guess. My my lectures are pretty inspiring, but I always juggling a lot of projects. It's quite tough staying on top of it all. Maybe I should have asked her something more relevant. But what? This feels awkward as hell. It's about hangover. So did you wake up with a um, her her tremendous hangover? Just a bit. I feel a little nauseous, but that's hardly surprising after the what after the night we had. I wonder what she means by that. Looks like you're feeling the the brunt of the uh, though the brunt of it though. You don't look so great. Are you feeling okay? Just a little hungover. Right, don't worry about it. I'm just a little hungover. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not surprised. You already had quite a few drinks before I met you last night. Quite a few drinks. Well, there's a lot of stamped off that card. But Gary said I only had one round. I'm going to get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? Coffee would be fine. Yeah, a coffee would help me shake off this hangover. Is that is that okay? Sure, I'll go, uh, put it on the kettle. I hope you don't mind, mind um, mind instant. How do you, how do you take it? Black. Just black, please. Oh, sh okay, sure thing. One minute. Okay, she's gone. I, I, I gotta try to keep it cool. I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her. Ugh, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems nice. She seems nice. She does seem nice, to be honest. Uh, Still, I don't know how much of what happened last night. So, let's... Okay, uh... Must be your wallet. I really shouldn't go through this. But, then again, this might contain some useful information about her. Driver's license, an ID card, something... Birth. Should I look at it? Investigate. There's nothing. Where's your 
card. Hang on. There's something else here. University of Louise Morel. Okay, um, Louise, she's 26 years old. So what I thought. This card looks super old, too. Stop searching. I'm done. I, I want to get middle Eyes of Embrace. It's a romance novel. Eyes of Embrace. The cinnamon reads, Daisy Buttons escapes her humble country rooftops to find true love in the city. Bustling the single bachelors, but to take more than this country, girls are to overcome. The modern convenience is the online dating of linger hookups. It says they're the summer's best seller. It sounds intriguing. I actually enjoy romance novels, to be honest. Maybe I should ask Louise about this. It might be worth a read. Here. Thanks. It smells good. Well, I hope you like it strong. It's great. Thanks. Are you holding up okay? Holding up? I have no idea. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Good. Um, what should I say? Romance. You know, I see you're reading Eyes of Embrace. Haha, <laughs> you found one of my vi vices. Yeah, I'm a sucker for romance novels. So am I. Normally I can't put these things down once I started, but this one is... I don't know, it's kind of trashy. Trashy? But don't get me wrong, I can see why people like this stuff. It's the best. It's a bestseller, after all. Call me old-fashioned, but I just prefer the work of o uh, Austin and Bro- Oh, a hey, uh, way more. Sorry. Can't read right. You can't beat the classics, eh? But uh, I'll finish it anyway. Really? Even though you're not enjoying it? Yeah, of course. I like the animation of this game, to be honest. It's really good. Like, it reminds me of, like, some old cartoons, but it also, I like how the game is animated the way it is. And I like how this is going. Gives you the options to investigate, get to know the person. I would hate to leave an old book half-read. I always try to see them through the end. I like that. No matter how trashy they are, it feels a bit awkward again. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. So, that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was quite, it was alright. You know... I think I owe you my thanks. Thanks. I feel pretty down last night. I was always brushing off the idea of meeting up with a stranger the, through a dating app. A dating app? Is that how we met? But a friend of mine ain't met this his girl old friend there, and so I thought I'd give it a try. Though, it took me a while to work up the courage to go through with it. Finding the right guy, getting to know him, eventually agreeing to meet. And then he doesn't even show up. What an asshole. Okay, I think the... I. I can assume that the, asshole, that the asshole she was talking about isn't me. I was there over an hour on my own. After that, I was really ready to jump into the taxi and go home and shut myself for the day. In for days, but then you show up. I'm glad you did. In you saw I was down and brought me a drink and cheered me up. I did. Yeah, I remember you synthesizing with me a lot. You listened to me and go on and on about uh, that dating app douchebag. Ha <laughs> ha. So thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Hmm, so she got me, she got stood up last night. And we must have met after that. That is really cool. Because, um, this is something I couldn't have controlled in the game. And it's nice to know that this guy was willing to cheer this woman up. This ain't no regular one night stand. And that's what I like. I like that. I love that. This guy actually was a good person with morals. And that, that's something that this modern society doesn't have anymore. We don't have morals or common sense, and that bothers me. And I, I, I really wish that was true. I wish that was still around. Where people still had morals, they didn't end things after a fight, they stuck with each other. If there was something wrong with it, you fix it, stuff like that. That's what I miss. Maybe I was just a, a shower, just a shoulder for her, try to cry on. Although I did end up here. Whatever the case, it explains why I ended up abandoning Gary last night. A little. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you ha had a good night in the end. Although I think my mate's a bit pissed at first me of ditching him. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine, we were just in the middle of a bar crowd, and I sure as hell get over it. I didn't realize you were out with anyone else. Yeah, I was out with Gary. He started at, at his bar and his bro recommended, I think. Gary? Huh? Um, it's nothing. Hold on, which bar? WAIT A MINUTE! I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. I found a sandbar card, but... 
Which bar did you go to? Shit. I don't remember. I have to be honest, I don't remember. Uh. Hmm? I have no idea. Whoa, what? You don't even remember the bar you were or at with your friends? Ha, huh, that's the first place we went. The first place you went. You must have remember anything. Must have remember anything then. Well, I remember your name, Louise. That's that should score me some points. Well, what did you just call? Whoa, what did you just call me, Louise? Why? That's your name, isn't it? Um, no. Don't you remember anything of me telling you my my name last night? Don't tell me this isn't even that girl. Don't tell me she has somebody at her like a twin. Should I take this as a no? How did you come with Louise? Hang on. What? Well, uh, I don't believe this. You could. How could you do that? I remember and look. You could have just let get out. Whoa, what? I had enough of you snooping around asking questions. I don't even know you. Why are you still here? Swipe your phone before she forces you out the bedroom. Before you realize it, you stood outside her house. Louise, whoever furiously slams the door behind you. Wait, what? I fucked up? You are now outside, alone, clothed, somewhat. You ring the doorbell, just, but she doesn't answer. Yell and bang the door, and, but only a noise starts to attract an unwanted attention. You decide to leave. What? Ah! Uh, usually, I'm usually good at diffusing situations. <sighs> you spot some laundry you left from the neighbor and seize the opportunity to cover yourself. Wrapping the stranger's bed sheets over the bare shoulders, you try to find your way home. At least I grabbed my jeans. I can. It'd have been worse. Walk of shame. Ah. Oh. 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 Ah. I guess I lose. You unlock the ending, Walk of Shame. So there's multiple endings to this? Oh man, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh god. I shouldn't have looked at the wall. I shouldn't have looked at the wall. Well, I, I was trying to find out information of what happened last night, and ah, ha, ha. oh well. Let's not uh, worry about the game anymore because this was a pretty interesting video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because wow, this is a pretty intriguing game, and and. Uh, I was actually feeling the emotions of it. See, with me, I feel emotions from video games, and I, like, any game I play, I will feel the characters. I will feel everything in the game, personally. I will take it personally, because that's how I feel. And that's why horror games... Oh, crap, my camera just unfocused. Horror games scare me. Well, horror games will scare me more than movies. Because video games, I'm in interactive with it. The movie, I'm just watching it. This, I'm interactive with it. That's why I can't watch romance movies, but I can play romance games. And so, understand when I play games that I will put them to my heart as much as I can. And this game really brought a lot out of me, and it made me realize some stuff about myself. So, as a person, think of what I just did. What if I had done this in real life, how did it would it portray? Would I have come off wrong? If this game is accurate, would I have done it? Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys aren't alone this Valentine's Day. And if you are alone, I wish you a happy Valentine's Day for myself. And I hope you guys will find your significant other out there. And I hope you all We'll, <laughs> we'll learn something from this video today. So, anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later, and stay nitty, my friends. Happy Valentine's Day.